Good morning. We're beginning with Trishula Mudra. That's where you put your thumb over the pinky nail and stretch the other three fingers straight up. That's like Shiva's trident. Shiva's trident. So this is the way to <clears throat> develop a weapon against spiritual ignorance. Right, you don't want to deny. I mean, there are so many things we're ignorant about, but being aware of your ignorance about the spirit, spiritual awakening. So this is to extinguish, extinguish the obstacles, to cut through laziness, egoism, excessive attachment, and so forth. Okay, so that's where we are today. But we're beginning with the reminder from the Kata Upanishads of the analogy of the chariot and the charioteer. The self is like the Lord, is the consciousness in the background. And then the mind is the charioteer, or I should say, <clears throat> the mind holds the reins. And uh, the mind holds the reins. The reins are the, are, are the the way the mind moves into objects. And the senses are like the horses. They're always seeking the pastures of desire. And so to rein it back in is one of the images that they give you. So you go back from the senses to the mind, from the mind to pure consciousness. All right, so that's what we're doing. So today we're adding Bayakumbaka, which is the external retention, Anuloma, Pratiloma, and Surya Bedna. All right, so first we will do three Anuloma rounds of open nostril inhale, partially closed nostril exhale, and then three rounds with the Bayakumbaka at the end of the partially closed nostril exhale with a restorative breath in between. All right, let's get to it. Back ribs move forward, side ribs move up. And, uh, sorry, back ribs move forward, side ribs move, um, back ribs move in, side ribs move forward, and front ribs move up. Let's see what that does. Tuck your chin. All right, take a few restorative breaths, get a sense of where you are today. Free your mind from all other preoccupations, past, future, and even other present thoughts. Just stick to what we're doing here. All right, exhale, raise the hand, wide nostril, inhale. Narrow nostril, exhale, always longer than the inhale on Anuloma. Open nostril, inhale. Narrowed nostril, exhale. Open nostril, inhale. Arrowed nostril, exhale. Relax the hand and do your restorative breathing. So in yoga, the idea is practice gives you knowledge or direct experience, which is different both from inference and from testimony. Right? Not relying on what experts say Respiratory therapists say we're finding out by ourselves. All right, now let's add biokumbaka. Exhale the breath, raise the hand, wide nostril, inhale. Narrow nostril, exhale. Relax the hand, biokumbaka, hold the breath out. Restore the breath. Second cycle in the B round, raise the hand, wide nostril, inhale. Narrow the nostrils and exhale. Relax the hand, wait there with external retention. Restorative breathing. Last cycle of the first round, wide nostril inhale. Narrow nostril exhale. Relax the hand, then biokumbaka. Exhale. 
and restorative breathing. Now, pranayama has more to do with the relationship between your breath and your mind than it does with just mere metabolic processes. Sure, we can describe it scientifically as the proper ratio of oxygen to carbon dioxide that alkalinizes your blood, but it's more than that. It's what happens to your consciousness as you manipulate the breath. Let's continue to find out. Pratiloma, inhale is longer than the exhale. Three rounds, no restorative breath, narrowed nostril inhale, open nostril exhale. And in the second three rounds, we'll do it with Vyakumbaka at the end of the exhale and a restorative breath in between. All right, check your position simultaneously again. Back ribs in, side ribs forward, front ribs up. Exhale the breath, raise the hand, narrow both nostrils and breathe in. Inhale longer than the exhale. Open nostril exhale. Narrow nostril inhale. Open nostril exhale. Third one in the A cycle. Narrow nostril inhale. Open nostril exhale. the hand and restore the breathing. So remember, fill your lungs horizontally, then lift vertically and watch what happens to your shoulder blades, even in the sitting posture. If I widen my chest first this way and then lifted, right? watch what happens to the shoulder blades in the back. Widen, lift, they kind of roll down and back into the body. Get it? Keep it going. Exhale the breath. Use the other hand. Psychologically discombobulate yourself. Narrow the nostrils and breathe in. Open the nostrils, exhale. Relax the hand restore, and hold the breath out. And restore the breathing. Remember during the kumbhat, Part when you're holding, no trembling, no forcing. The body will tell you when you overextend your capacity, so let go before that. Exhale the breath. Second cycle in the B round. Raise the hand, narrow the nostrils, breathe in. Open the nostrils, exhale. Relax the hand, wait there, hold the breath out. And restore the breathing. Keep the hand in Trisula Mudra, that's not being used for the digital control. All right, last cycle in the B round, exhale the breath, raise the hand, widen, narrow the nostrils, breathe in. Open the nostrils, exhale. Relax the hand, Bayakumbaka, hold the breath. And restore to breathing. All right, so now we're moving to Surya Bedana, the Inhale right, exhale left with narrowed nostrils. We'll do three rounds with no pause. Take a restorative breath, and then we'll do three more rounds with a biocumbaca and a restorative breath in between. So with your mind, the eyes looking into your body, right? Follow the breath and see how it conforms to the shape of your lungs and the chambers of your chest, all right? Maintain that fullness. Exhale the breath. Whatever hand is not used in Trishula Mudra. Raise the hand. Block left, narrow right, inhale. Block right, narrow left, exhale.
Lock left, partially closed right, inhale. Lock right, partially closed left, exhale. Lock left, partially closed right, inhale. Lock right, partially closed left, exhale. And restore to breathing. Now maintain the fullness of the chest when we're doing the biokumbaka, and uh, find out where isn't the breath touching. You have to go to the unknown. And remember, when we're starting to do the alternate nostril breathing, sometimes they call it forced nostril breathing. Not that you're pushing, but you're causing it to have to go into one nostril. So that's what we call forced nostril breathing. Watch how it's going to alter your brainwave states. Remember, I said pranayama is more about breath to mind than it is breath to metabolism. All right, exhale. Let's do it. Raise the hand. Keep the space between the sternum and the breast wide. Flock left, partially closed right, inhale. Flock the right, partially closed the left, exhale. Drop the hand, wait there in Biocumbaca. Restore the breath. One and done if you can. And other people take more restorative breaths if you need. Exhale, let the nervous system know. Here we go, another round. Block left, partially close right. Breathe in. Block right, partially close left. Exhale. the hand, hold the breath out. Restore the breathing. All right, last round, make it the best one. Exhale, raise the hand, block left, partially close right, breathe in. Block right, partially closed left, exhale. Relax the hand. Wait there in Biocombaca. And restore to breathing. The eyes closed gently. Raise your head up. Very nice. Okay. Made it through. Well, go through the day with a nice relaxed strategy. Don't be so self-centered. As my teacher Ramdas says, as long as you're concerned with, am I going to make it? Just feeds the neurosis. All right. So do the pure action and enjoy yourself. And uh, wherever you find people who are crying, stop and dry their tears.